drive up here and uh, like I said, I saw a very nice arena, beautiful rink, but hardly anything around because you feel like it's almost in the middle of nowhere, a small village. So I, I, the first thing I asked myself is, where do all the fans come from? And then people were telling me that they come from everywhere. Yeah, that's something I'll always remember and, uh, you know, uh, uh, the biggest thing we tried to do with our team, Game 7, was to make sure we had control of our emotions. You know, we had to be ready to execute in order to win. This Game 7 of the Finals, winner wins the Stanley Cup. You know, when you, when you win something like that, you're the head coach, you're happy for the players, you're happy for the trainers, you're happy for your fans, you know, you're happy for your family that supported you all your life. I was one of the best, and now he's really a legend. But he's a very ganz normal und uh, das habe ich wirklich sehr viel geschätzt und auch ist auch eine, eine Lektion für mich gewesen, oder? Er hat sicher mir viel äh, Sicherheit, äh, sicher viel Vertrauen und eben auch äh, ein paar neue Inputs äh, gebracht, dass, äh, dass für mich äh, die nächsten paar Wochen und Monate wichtig werden sie. Je vais jusqu'à 22, oui. À défense, mais les lignes avant, je pense que tu les as. <rire> oh, oh, yeah. Hey, I have a big bar. I have a big bar. Merci. Oh, there's the board. Have you ever used this uh, play too? It's something you use once in a while in the at the. Uh... It's okay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's. It can be outside offensive blue line, winger, center, winger, D. Sorry, D, in D, and you know once in a while when you really need a good opportunity, if he can win it over here, this guy goes, taps his stick like he wants to puck, the winger kind of follows, this D jumps, jumps right there, because it opens up, right? The other Ds are flat-footed here. We've used that quite a bit. Zidane always want to use that. I have to say Zidane, just once in a while, he left. But, you know, if you can stretch this winger out and then... He just jumps in there, yeah. and like a guy like Heater would probably be good here, right? He's gone. Yeah. So we know over the other side. So something. Hey Dale. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to meet you. I was watching something. Are you are you living in Sudbury or? Yeah. Okay. We just missed each other by a year. 
So, uh, but you had Bert Templeton as your coach, right? It was yeah, Bert, I right? Say like that. Hey. <laughs> Oh, because I played against it. Oh, After yeah. you left, yeah. it wasn't an easy team to play against. No, no. <laughs> and with Bert rallying him up too. Two legends of our organization here. Uh, first one here, it's uh, Kirby Kurliker. Kirby, uh, long time captain of, uh, of our team, of our organization, captain of the national team. And uh, Dale McCourt is a former first pick overall in the NHL. He uh, played in Ambry uh, from 84 to 92. Thank you very much. We really appreciate this. Thank you, guys. I'll tell you the way I feel right now is that we fucking need to be harder. And you know what? To me, as a coach, it drives me nuts when guys are indifferent in the battle whether we win or lose. We're not going in there saying, Fuck you, I'm coming out with the puck, not you. We're going in there and it's like, we're indifferent right now. Do you not feel the, uh, you feel that a little bit with some of the guys? Like, fucking pucks at the net, you know, create momentum, yeah, be hard. But lose with a regular balls. But the lucky fellow hand pass in neutral zone. Fuck, take the puck and, and, and play from so to set to Zwerger, der lässt jetzt seinen ganzen Frust raus. Na, vorne hat er den Handschuh ausgezogen und schlägt zu. I was really impressed right from the right from the start. Uh, I've said it many times already. He has a lot of energy, but a lot of positive energy. Players feed off his energy. Tomorrow is heading uh, back home. Um, it was uh, for me, I talk for myself now, great experience. I want to thank him for uh, supporting us. Thank you, Claude. It was uh, an honor and a pleasure to having you with us. No, thanks. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, like you said, listen, there's ups and downs in the season, and uh, I don't think it's a time to panic, but it's a time to look at ourselves and say, you know, what can we do better? Uh, I can be the first one to tell you guys, the year I won the Stanley Cup, we went through some real tough times. And because we had the right attitude, we persevered and we won ourselves the Stanley Cup. So the only thing you guys can control in life, you don't know if you're gonna go home tonight and get in a car crash. You don't know if you're gonna get a phone call that tells you something bad's happened in your family. That you can't control. But you know what you can control? Your attitude. 
how you come in the next day and what you're gonna do about it. That's the only thing we can control in life. Best of luck to everybody. Have a good night, see you tomorrow. Nice. I know, okay. Hey, good evening. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome, guys. Good luck, hey. You're good luck. Good luck, guys. Good luck, hey, guys. Good luck, okay. Hey, thank you. Good luck. Sure, good seeing you.